This tutorial covers how to update a contributed theme by using the administrative interface and running the database update scripts or by using Drush. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know how to update a contributed theme on your site and how to run the database update script. Before doing this, you should make sure that you've got a contributed theme that's been installed and there's an update available for it. That you've got a development version of your site you can test this on first you've created a full site backup before proceeding on the live site. If you want to use the user interface to up make the updates, the core update manager module must be installed. And finally, if you want to use Drush, Drush must be installed. See the written version of this tutorial for links to each of these prerequisites. Note that if you're using Composer to manage your site's dependencies, you'll want to follow the tutorial on using Composer to update the code, and then come back here for instructions on running the database update script. You can use the administrative interface or Drush to update a contributed theme. If you're updating a custom theme rather than a contributed theme, or if you see a message saying, installing modules and themes requires FTP access to your server, or if the steps below do not work to obtain the new theme files, follow the steps in the tutorial for manual installation, and then come back here and continue with the instructions for running the database update script. If you're using the user interface, start by putting your site into maintenance mode. In the Manage Administration menu, click Configuration, and then under Development, click on Maintenance Mode, check the box, put Site into Maintenance Mode, and click Save Configuration. Once the site is in Maintenance Mode, in the Manage Administrative menu, navigate to Reports, Available Updates, and then Update. This will show you a list of any modules or themes that need updating. Find the theme that you want to update in the list and check the box. Then click Download These Updates. On the next page, click Continue. Once that's completed, click on Run Database Updates. If you obtain the new theme files manually or via Composer, start with this step and reach the Database Updates page by navigating to the update.php script in your browser. Once here, click Continue to run the database updates if there are any. In this case, there are no updates to run, so I'm automatically taken to the final step where I can click Administration Pages in order to return to the Administration section of my site. Now, you can go ahead and take your site out of Maintenance Mode by clicking on Go Online, unchecking Put Site into Maintenance Mode, and then clicking Save Configuration. Finally, for good measure, it's always a good idea to clear the cache. Alternatively, you can use Drush to update a theme. Start by finding the project name for the theme you wish to update, which is the last segment of the theme's project page URL. For example, if you're at drupal.org slash project slash mayo, mayo here is the project name. Once you know the project name, in your terminal, run the drush command drush pm hyphen update and the name of the theme that you would like to update, in this case, mayo. Run the command and then follow any instructions on the screen. The drush pm hyphen update command will automatically run any database updates if required. In this tutorial, we learned how to update a contributed theme using the user interface provided by the Upgrade Manager module, or alternatively, using the drush pm-update command.